Hi, and welcome to StampingSmiles.com. Shelly Godby here, and I want to show you another card I made with the Reason to Smile stamp set. This is the $5 July only stamp set. And what I mean by that is not only is it only $5, you only can purchase a stamp set in July, and it's limited edition to July 2012 only. Stampin' Up! came up with this stamp set, and so you get it for $5 with a $50 purchase in my online store. Okay, so I want to show you something cute with this. I've made several cards with it, and also pretty, usually using, um, up to now, the big flowers. But I really want to play with these smaller ones. I think they are just so pretty. Okay, so what I have here, I have my Sizzix Big Shot, a piece of Wisteria Wonder cardstock, one by five and a half, and I have my Finishing Touches Edgelet's Die, and I want to make a pretty border with it. And so I'm going to lay the die on there, looking pretty even, and I'm pulling this out. Let me widen out my shot a little bit. we go. And I have to place this cutting on here. All right. So I am sitting on tab two or no tabs open, cutting plate, my cardstock, then my edgelet's die, and then, and that moved a little bit on me. Whoops. <laughs> that moved a lot. That's okay. Okay. So I need to place this on there. I can't scoot it on because it'll move it. So I want to place it on there carefully. There we go, looking pretty good. Now crank that through. And let's pull this back so we can see what's going to come out the other side. This is not like magic. It is so cool. 3,000 pounds of pressure and what it can give you. As we peel this away, here's the piece I want. Oh, so pretty. But it's about to get even prettier. I'm going to use um, my paper piercing tool and just easily push these out. And ta-da! Isn't that pretty, that beautiful lacy edge? And this sure makes it easy. Before I had this, I was using my paper snips, which was a little bit awkward. You still could, you know, but I had to hold them with one blade open. Miracle of all miracles, never cut myself. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. And so those don't just pop out, but it's such a pretty look. Who cares? Almost done. So, um, I want to show you the card I did with that little flower. Okay, let's set this aside. Bring back my mat so it's easier for you to see what it is I'm doing. All right, and we need to tighten up our shot a little bit. <laughs> so let's come in for a closer look. All right, so now I have this pretty piece all done. And with the Wisteria Wonder, I paired it with the Elegant Eggplant. And that is not right. <laughs> it is not it. It is, it is Elegant Eggplant. You know what was in mine? Uh, eggplant Envy. I was thinking, no, that's not right. Okay, I'm like a plant. Oh, I'm okay. Really, I am. And so, anyway, <laughs> so I want to put this on here. Isn't that pretty? Oh, missed one. Okay. Isn't that just beautiful? So, what I did is I embossed with the Curly Cute stamp set in Whisper White on my what started off to be a five and a half by eight and a half piece of cardstock, but then I trimmed off that half inch. And so then with my snail adhesive, it'll be so easy to add this pretty border. And I'm going to have it underneath. Can you see what I'm doing? There we go, looking nice and straight. And how pretty is this? So you're thinking, okay, what does this have to do with the Reason to Smile stamp set? Well, I will tell you. I stamped and cut out. I did the two-stepping. I did um, the solid one and Wisteria Wonder. 
and the outline over top in Elegant Eggplant. <laughs> Not Eggplant Envy. Boy, that's a fl flash from the past, isn't it? And so for each card that I wanted to make, I cut out um, 11 of these. And with my paper snips, it really was easy, and I find it peaceful doing this detail cutting. And so what we need to do is start attaching those along this and we're going to create a really pretty border. We already have a pretty border but it's about to get a lot prettier attaching uh, 11 of these. I have them spaced out looking airy, purposely turning them in different directions so they don't all look the same. And letting them overlap a little bit but leaving some room. We keep doing that until we get done. And there we have it. Isn't that pretty? Wouldn't you like to get a card like this in the mail? And then inside, of course, we need a white piece. And I had to cut it short because we didn't want it sticking out. I didn't want that white coming down there to take away from my pretty flowers and my pretty border. So this is cut a little bit smaller and then stamped to coordinate inside. Yay! And so there you go. And using that beautiful, beautiful flower from the Reason to Smile stamp set. So again, this is um, $5 in July 2012 only. There's still some time left. And with a $50 purchase in my online Stampin' Up! store. And then once it's August 1st, it'll be over with. So I'm going to invite you to go to my online store now and purchase, uh, make that $50 purchase so you can get the Reasons and Reason to Smile stamp set and then you will get a lovely card I made with the stamp set in the mailbox from me <laughs> uh, for my July customer thank you card. And so Reason to Smile, $5 only in July 2012 only. This is Shelley Godby teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.